G'day guys, I'm Hannah. Oh, I got that. I got the worst underwear on today. And this is Kieran. Oh, I'm doing this for the vlog. And we've been traveling Australia and the world for a little while now. In this series, we are taking you to some of Central Australia's most iconic locations and showing you that it is possible for two people not to shower and live in a car for 10 days. So go subscribe and let's get on with it. G'day friends, we are in Pimba and we have decided to stay the night here and go to Woomera. We sort of ummed and ahed for quite a while about whether we were going to because it is only like 3.30 and if we pushed on through we could get home tomorrow but we've already cut our week or our trip short by like three or four days so we're going to hang around and we're going to go out tomorrow and check out Woomera, the Rocket Park and the museum because it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like Australia's Nalia defence area so that'll be sick to see. We tried to organise a tour at the Baker Observatory literally 10 minutes ago so we're not super organised uh, but they can't help us out so unfortunately we'll miss out on that one but I hear incredible things about it. So we're going to set up a little rough camp here at the um, Pimba Roadhouse, a little bit of shade great internet so we're probably going to catch up on some tv which is going to be wonderful <laughs> it's not something we'll be vlogging about like <laughs> no um and do some bits and pieces because we've got the afternoon to kill and tomorrow back on the road after Woomera and then it's literally just hightailing at home from there we'll probably stop at the border and then straight on through to the peninsula sound good yes we'll let's be happy. get this camp set up for the second last time yeah. So the Pimba Roadhouse ended up being an awesome place to stop. So if you are staying in Woomera, this isn't a bad option for a free camp. Although I think you've got to give a donation at the front desk. I'm not sure. Anyway, I had a quick little shower and we snuggled in for the night and had a pretty chill night here at the Roadhouse to head out to Woomera tomorrow. In this dark night, it's too hard for me to say now. If the rays of hope will shine again someday. I might be spared as the tempest starts to swell. At this point, it's just too dark to tell. Breakfast is surf. What have we got on the uh? Yeah, no, I, got no, I woke up really early and I made tea. Was the devil set me oh, I thought you actually made it. We don't have any fish. Just got to keep it up. Where are we going to today? But uh, we're at Pimba Road Stop at the moment, so it's only like a short 15 minute drive, isn't it? I don't think it's very far. No. Not really far. Well, looking forward to it, get that done, and then we're on our way home, aren't we? So Hannah asked me to stop uh, and try to waste some time because the museum doesn't actually open until 10 o'clock. And uh, we see some emus. Emus. So we arrived in Woomera around 8am and set out exploring. This place is very cool and the town basically exists to serve the RAAF Woomera Range Complex, which is a large Australian Defence Force aerospace that covers about 122,000 square kilometres. It was established in the mid-1947s to cater for the thousands of people who moved there as part of the Anglo-Australian project. A project which saw the Australian and British governments join forces to research the use of long-range weaponry. The project lasted for 34 years and saw Woomera become one of the most secret allied establishments in operation during the Cold War. That's so cool, I didn't actually know that until I was just reading it now. I didn't actually realise with these uh, artillery type of things, uh, it spirals down. So the groove of the, uh, I guess, the, oh, yeah, the missile see. does it so it twists out. So it holds its line so it doesn't like float. Doesn't like float. <laughs> float. <laughs> <laughs> Military interests me, like, not that I ever want to enter it myself, but to play a lot of video games, I, I, I feel like I've got some sort of understanding in it. No, I don't. Um, no it's good. It's actually seen the things where um, where a lot of it's used for either Navy, Air Force, or um, just general Army Reserve. Um, like, some of them have created high drag, so it sits in the air a lot longer, so it sails further to anti-submarine missiles, so, no, it's really cool. 
all my days in the woods. Just a blade and a point to prove. Look at the insides. This is where it might be ignited after release. So, um, if they needed the propulsion to sort of go to the destination quicker. Hallelujah. Oh, your love had a way of knocking me on down. So, you guys, we checked out Rocket Park, and it's really, really cool. If you have kids, they will love it. There is just like rockets and aeroplanes and all kinds of crazy stuff just all over the park that you can check out and look at up close, which is awesome. But we've still got a bit of time to kill. We keep getting up way, way too early. I woke up at five this morning and we were in Woomera by like quarter to eight and the museum doesn't open till 10. So if Kieran will get off his phone, we're gonna go and try and find a cafe and we're gonna go for a drive around Woomera. Don't argue with me. No, I'm gonna argue because I'm actually looking for a cafe. We can go for a drive. We don't have to use Google Maps. Anyway, any we're not gonna have a domestic on the on the vlog. Um, so yeah, the museum opens at 10, so we've got about an hour to kill, I think. Yeah, about an hour to kill. So we'll go find something to consume our time. Anything you would like to say? Good. <laughs> These bloody mannequins. Someone really wants to go to the museum. We're waiting around two hours for this. It's 10 o'clock. Open up now. So unfortunately the museum never opened, much to Kieran's uh, dismay, but we found an awesome little cafe. So if you are stuck in Woomera and looking for a quick bite to eat and an epic milkshake, head out to the uh, Woomera Heritage and Visitors Centre. That place rocks. Alright you guys, the inevitable happened. We're about, oh, I don't know, like 20 minutes from Adelaide and our tyre blew on the highway, which of all the places we've driven in the last week, I didn't expect it to blow this close to home. So little kids here is uh, changing it. We have a spare, which is good, but we're probably going to stop and get another one because all of our tyres are like down to the wire, which is why I've been so anxious driving home. Um, so we were planning to push through and get home tonight, but I doubt that's going to happen now. If it does, we'll be getting home super late, but we'll see. Such a pain in the ass. Isn't it, Bubs? Uh, I literally reached my hand over the tyre and I can feel the wires, so this is going to look really bad. Yeah, it's wretched. Sorry, Tim. We really should have changed our tyre in um, all, all of our tyres in Darwin, but we just did not have the time. But considering what we had done, since Darwin, like going to Devil's Marbles and that, um, this car's done pretty well. Yeah, I thought it was gonna blow in um, West McDonald's. Yeah. Sucks. Fine. Yeah, they've been pushing in. That's why it's blowing through like that. And also, we stack all our weight to the middle of the car. Yeah. Well, that's gonna happen regardless. So unless you can have all the weight like directly on that tire. Yeah. Just can't do it. Yeah. yeah, the Fords have got a tendency to have shit wheel bearings. Right. Dang. We were so close to the end of our trip and we were really supposed to be heading into Melbourne tonight. In the end, we had to stop off in Port Melbourne and get all of our tyres changed. It took only an hour and we did get to uh, have a mean feed in the food court at uh, Westfield Shopping Centre. So I guess there's silver linings and everything, hey. But these two kids were super keen to get home to a comfy bed, a hot shower, and a proper feed. I feel like I'm quite tan. Yeah. I really need to shower. I need to shower so badly. For that desperate, in fact, that we decided to drive right through the night, crossing the border and heading into Melbourne, we would arrive back home about 3 a.m. All right, it is now. So quarter to seven? Yeah, so it's quarter to seven guys and obviously the last time I caught up with you we were on the side of the road north of Adelaide. We'd blown a tyre. So basically what's happened in the last few hours is we ended up in Port Adelaide getting our tyre fixed. We got three tyres changed so we shouldn't have any more dramas heading into Melbourne. 
We are driving straight through to Melbourne tonight. It is dark, it is late, and it's gonna be like 3 a.m. by the time we get home, which is a bit shit, but that's what we've decided to do because we both stink to high heaven and want showers. Um, so we aren't gonna stop at Border Town. We're not gonna do anything. Um, we're just gonna hoof it straight home now because we have been on the road for a week. We haven't showered, we haven't slept all that well, and we are just exhausted. So that's our plan. Um, there's yeah nothing left to see. The vlog was gonna end at the border town spot, but you know shit happens. Life goes on. Life goes on. Tomorrow morning we'll be getting up after a nice big sleep and a shower, which I cannot stop thinking about. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, we'll be unpacking our car, and that's it for our little Darwin circle. We we connected our circle, our loop in uh, Port Augusta early today, which is very exciting. Again, forgot to film it because Kiz and I just both cooked. Yeah. Um, but it's been a sick trip. So we'll give you a nice big overrun of what we've done in the last five days and um, things that we recommend and things that we do not recommend. Yeah. Pretty much it for our Central Australia trip. Very anticlimactic ending, but in two weeks time, which will be next week for you guys, we have an epic new series coming out. I am so excited for it. Kiz and I literally hit the ground tonight, have two weeks to get ourselves packed up and then we're off overseas, which is really, really fucking exciting. Have we revealed where we're going to? No, we haven't yet. No. But Might be in the end of this vlog, but we'll see. But yeah, it's a place Kiz has never been before and I literally cannot wait to show him. Like, it's gonna be so sick. Next place we're going to is uh, right up our alley. So yeah, it's gonna be sick. Stay so. tuned for that and uh, as this vlog progresses, uh, new exciting things will, uh, will keep coming. So. Peace thank up, you, guys. thank you for joining us. It's been fabulous. But until next time, wish us safe travels to get to Melbourne. We're so close to the border of South Australia and Victoria, so it'll be so sweet to get home. And Hannah's done an eight-hour stint today, yeah, so I myself, she though. deserves to have a shower. <laughs> sweet. So friends, that's it for our hot lap through the guts of Australia. Can you believe that this trip only took us six days? We spent one night at the iconic Daily Waters pub, a great place to stop just before or after leaving Darwin. We explored the breathtaking Kalu Kalu Devil's Marbles Conservation Reserve, where Kieran took some of the best drone footage he's taken in a while. Before heading to the West McDonald Ranges just outside of Alice Springs, this two-nighter was spent at the awesome Allery Creek Big Hole, where we explored some incredible gorges and I even spotted some peregrine falcons, so I can officially die happy. And then we headed to Uluru and witnessed the final days before the closing of the Uluru climb and nearly killed ourselves walking 10 kilometers around the base of this amazing rock. All of this before we had even left the Northern Territory. We spent two nights in South Australia checking out the quirky Kipipedi. G'day. G'day, copper. G'day, copper. And finishing up in Woomera. We were absolutely wrecked by the end of it, as I'm sure you can all tell, but had an absolute blast. If this is your first time watching our videos, welcome. Make sure you go back to the start of these crazy little adventures. In the last nine months, we have explored Australia's West Coast, Darwin, and now Central Australia. And starting next week, we have a massive brand new series. So hit subscribe, and I hope you are ready for this one. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. <laughs> it looks something like this.